business, ICT, chemistry, physics, English literature and geography. I chose biology, chemistry, physics, and maths, geography, class on Malaysia. I chose Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Business, Geography, and EM. I chose Art, Drama, Bio, Physics, BM, and P. For my IGCSE course, I decided to take the three primary science subjects, Biology, Chemistry, and Physics, as well as Geography, AdMath, and BM4 Languages. So I chose AdMath, PE, Computer Science, Physics, Chemistry, and Mandarin. I chose Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Business Studies, PE, and Mandarin. For my IGCSE, I chose Drama, Global, Geo, Mandarin, and Physics. I chose Art, Business, Mandarin, Computer Science, and Physical Education. Tech, Business, Global, Computer Science, Physics, Mandarin, and Geography. Uh, for business, I had the option between Ad Maths, Business, and Drama. And Business was an easy choice for me because I think business is a very important choice for later life if you want to learn about how to manage your money and how to pay your bills and how the market works. Um, I took geography, again for the same reason, it's very good life skills, it lets you know about the world, what state the world's in at the moment, in other countries, for example, Syrian war, or whatnot, what you can do, um, politics. Chemistry and physics, another easy choice for me, I love the sciences, so um, when I saw that chem had chemistry and physics, I thought, yeah, chemistry and physics, that's I mean, Physics is good, um, good foundations for engineering, because you know how mechanics works and how the world works and why things happen the way they do. Um, chemistry is the same thing, it's applied physics on a molecular level, so you can see uh, if you want to go into something like bioscience, um, chemistry is a big help there. Uh, and then I did computer science as my final choice because I love technology and um, how the world works. So technology is becoming a very big part of modern day society, so I think knowing how it works is a very, very important part. I chose these subjects because I thought it was essential for my future, like physics and ad maths, as well as chemistry. I chose biology and geography because I have a passion for learning about the way we work and learning about the world around us. And I chose Bahasa and Malaysia because I already have a background in it. I chose art because when I was young, I've always had a big interest in art and design. So I'm more choosing more towards the art side. Which is why I also chose drama, and yeah, so those are the art, more art subjects. I also took bio and physics because, well, I've had most interest in those two, not chemistry. I'm planning to have a future career in science, which is the reason why I chose biology, chemistry, and physics. I chose atmos because it complements with physics and can help me boost my mathematical skills, as well as that geography is a natural blend of English and science which is a perfect choice for me so as I need to hone my English skills and BM because I'm Malay and need to perfect my native language. Add maths and Mandarin I thought would help me a lot in the future. Mandarin being one of the most spoken languages in the world and Add math being very helpful when it comes to engineering. Physics and Chem I chose because one, they're my favourite subjects, and two, that help me to get into some kind of chemical engineering uh, kind of job. I chose those subjects because of what I what I like, like PE especially, and um, what I'm interested in, like business studies. I chose um, all three sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics, because I like learning about science, especially since from the past three years. So I just wanted to like further my understanding and science in our world. I chose global because it will help me understand more about different cultures around the world. And I also chose drama because I enjoyed doing drama. I picked 
physics because it's an essential in architecture. And I also picked geo because it goes well with globals, I guess. And Mandarin because I want to know the language. I chose these subjects because I personally enjoy them. For example, I like art as a hobby and I feel like I can express my feelings through art a lot better. But being able to achieve what you want to be needs a lot of effort and hard work. So you need to do a lot of hard work to be able to be the best of who you are. Physics and computer science, uh, well, when I was choosing my subjects, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do in A-levels or university, but I had an idea of what I wanted, like what the field was going to be. So I really enjoyed the sciences, so um, physics and chemistry are good foundation sciences. Computer science and physics together um, could help me further pursue uh, education in computer, uh, computer studies, such as programming for games, so knowing the physics behind the games or programs. Well, I've always wanted to pursue architecture, so that's why I chose physics and add maps. But inside, I have a dying passion for travelling and freelancing, so that's why I guess I chose chemistry and biology as well as geography, because I just love the world. I really love the world. My ambition is to become a doctor or a forensic investigator. So I took science, all these science subjects so that it would help me get a base science when I enter university to take up the course for what I want to do in the future. Sure, I plan to go into the design industry, which is why art would help me, and physics, just in case if I want to do architecture, design, yeah, of course. So the rest of the subject is really just for, you know, just in case things don't work out, you always have a backup, which is always good, because things don't always work out. Alright, to be honest, I have no idea what I want to be when I grow up, really. But, but I know some things I don't want to be, like an artist, and I don't want to be like a talker, like giving professional talks, right? Um, but I do know it has to be, yeah, science orientated. Um, maybe perhaps I might be a doctor. I chose physics and chemistry because I I had an idea of what I wanted to be, which was originally a chemical engineer. But since then, I've kind of uh, what was it? Since then, I've kind of become a lot more unsure about what I want to be. So that's why I kind of took PE and computer science as well as Mandarin because it shows that you're a really well-rounded student. I just chose all these subjects because I enjoy doing it and it leads me to a wider spread of opportunities in the future. I purposely chose subjects that are not really related such as business, art and physical education just so that I have a wider range of career and options to choose from for what I want to be in my future. For me, I'm quite certain in what my future career is. I want to be an accountant, so I chose business. This will give me an ad give me advantages like a head start for my future career. So um, I know that if the exam's on Monday and it's Saturday, you still got Sunday. But the point is, you should be studying every afternoon, like a good month before the exam. Don't leave all your study to the last minute. It'll get pretty hectic pretty quickly. Okay, I guess the best advice I could give you is, if you're still unsure of what you want to do for your future, have a balance art and humanity subjects and science-based subjects. Pull for all your friends. They can choose other things. You choose what you have interest in. Because that is what will aid you in your future, not your friends. Choose what you have interest in. And don't get peer pressured into choosing things that you don't want. Because, you know, that's really stupid. So, yeah. And most important of all, even though there's exams and hard coursework and studies and everything, in the end, you just, if you choose what you like, you always have fun. This may sound a bit cliche, alright, but um, don't don't be overstressed, alright. Like year ten may not seem for a difficult year for you guys, but but you soon realize that every week you'll have a test at least, at least one test or 
two, maybe three. Um, there's nothing to be worried about in year ten actually. I mean, you always have, you just always have to, you know, revise, be prepared for anything that comes your way. Don't follow your friends because following your friends that won't help you get a good job or anything. You do what you want to do. Like for me, I chose PE and I chose Mandarin and I chose Adnavs, but I didn't choose the subjects like my friend Aris or Alex chose. So do what you want to do. I say um, you should like think about what you like and what your strengths are in your subjects. My advice to you is to not choose subjects just because your best friend or your favorite teachers are in it but instead choose what you truly like and what you really want to be in the future. I think this is the only time you really need to think about yourself and your future career because if you make a wrong move here, you won't be happy and you might regret in the future. Pick what you really enjoy and what's good for you. Don't choose it because of your best friends, because it's your future, not your best friends. I chose PE because... Mm.